Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go count. Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go add. When all that counting is done, you'll be adding sums. How are you today, math stars? Are you having a great day? I am having a wonderful day today, doing lots of math. And that's my favorite thing to do because I love numbers and I love counting and I love adding. And oh my goodness, it's so much fun. And today we are going to do another lesson. Yesterday we did zero and one and you learned to write the zero and you learned to write the one, correct? So now we have a new lesson. Today's lesson is going to start on page 33 in your book. So what do you need? Your book, your book and a pencil. Pause the video if you don't have it and go get it, okay? Okay, good. I'm so glad you have your book and your pencil because you're gonna need it today. Today, we're gonna count and write two and three. I know you know how to count two and three because we did that last module, but now you're gonna write it, okay? So today, I'm not going to do the interactive lesson. I'm going to show you what's actually in your book, because I think that might help a little bit. OK? All right. So that was yesterday on your own. How'd you do on that? Good? OK, that's what I thought. Here is our story. Do you see this? This word right here says pumpkins, like a pumpkin patch. It's so much fun at the pumpkin patch, but this here is a store and they already picked the pumpkins for you, but I'm gonna read it to you. It says, at the farmer's market, Tenley sees a number of pumpkins that is one larger than two. What does that mean? It's one larger than two. How are we gonna show that? Well, I think that we should draw two pumpkins. Let's do that. Let's start with drawing two pumpkins. Two pumpkins. One, two, because they said the number two, right? They said two, but they said she saw one larger. Just, do you know what larger means? Larger means bigger, right? Well, if I had one, what's a number larger than one? What does larger mean? It means like bigger. Like um, my husband is larger than me, right? He's bigger. He's actually really, really tall. So he's larger than me, he's bigger than me, right? So when we're talking about numbers, what does that mean? One larger, well guess what? It just means it's bigger. But, but Math Wizard, what does that mean? Okay, I'll show you what that means. We're talking about two pumpkins, right? One they're, I know they're not pumpkins, they're bears. That's what I have in my math corner. I don't have pumpkins, I'm sorry. I have bears. One bear, two bears. I see two bears. But I see one larger, one bigger. That means I see one more. So in math, larger basically means more. So what is one more than two? Let's count our bears, ready? One, two, three. That's what that means when it says one larger. So let's look back at our pumpkin picture, okay? What happened to my pumpkins that I drew? <laughs> Disappeared. I get to draw pumpkins again, that's fun. Okay, so let's go back. So we said one larger. So I'm gonna draw my one pumpkin and two pumpkins, right? We have two pumpkins 
And my pumpkins need a little stem to make them look like stem to make them look like pumpkins. What do you think? Does that look like an orange? Oh well, it's a pumpkin, okay? For our story. So I need a number. I need one larger than two. So what is one larger? We're gonna add one more pumpkin. One more. So now what do we have? What do we have? Can you do that? Let's count them. One, two, three. So what that means is that three is one larger than two. We had two, one larger, one bigger, one more is three. Okay, so you know what you need to do now? At the bottom of that paper, you need to write the number three. Got it? Right here. So right down here, I want you to write the number three. If you don't know how to write the number three, you can have your mom do this. Watch, I'll show you. If you can't write the number three yet, that's okay, because we're still learning. You can do it. Your mom can draw some dots for you. Oh boy, I bet she can draw better dots for you than I can on this computer, that's silly. But, and then what you would do is you would take your pencil and you would draw or trace over it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the next page in your book is building understanding. That's what it says. Okay, the next page in your book, we have some birds sitting on a fence. When I look outside, I can see some birds sitting on, like on the telephone wires. Birds sitting on the fence. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna count the birds and then you're gonna write the number of birds on the line. Okay, on the lines. So let's count together. One, two, three. Good. And then we're going to write the number three. Okay, this one, I want to see you do it. Are you counting? I don't know if I could hear you. Let's do that again. Ready? I want to hear you count. Good, so how many birds? Write your number there on the lines. Okay, here we have the number, say it out loud. Good, the number two. And you're gonna count the birds on the fence and you're gonna circle whichever fence has the correct number of birds. So first, here's the number two, like you said, and trace it, and then which fence has two, and you're gonna circle that. Go ahead and do that now. Then you're gonna come to this one, and you're gonna trace this number. What number is that? Yes, good job. And then you're gonna count the number of birds on the fence, and you're gonna circle the correct picture. Okay, you can pause it while you do this. Number five, ready? Number five. What I want you to do here is I want you to count how many flowers and then trace the number. Count how many flowers and trace the number. So what we're doing for five and six, let's count out loud. I want you to count and I'm going to listen to you count. Ready, go. Okay, now do this one. Good counting. And you're gonna trace those numbers. Okay, right here, we're gonna go counting rocks. Do you guys ever go out on a walk and see a bunch of rocks? Next time, try counting them. Let's count these rocks, ready? One, two, I see two rocks. 
none are hiding. Write that number on that line for me. Can you do that with your pencil? Hold your pencil. How do you hold your pencil? Pinch, pinch. Good. And when you finish that, here we go. Let's count these rocks. This time you count. Good job. Write that number, please. Good job, Math Stars. Woo -woo. Okay, it's time for On Your Own. Are you ready for On Your Own? Okay, turn your page right here on your own. Number nine, this blue, this blue box here. There are two stepping stones in the garden. Circle the group of stepping stones that represents the story. I'll say it one more time. There are two stepping stones in the garden. Which of these pictures represents this two stepping stones? And then you're gonna write the number on that line. You can pause it while you do this. Draw to show what you know, this section here, sorry. Draw to show what you know about two and three. Write the number each drawing represents. Do you remember yesterday we talked about this because it's really hard to look at that box and know what you're doing. So I'm just gonna show you again. You look here and here's a box. So you're gonna show what you know about the number two. So you're gonna show a picture here to represent two. You're gonna show, draw a picture here to represent three. You're showing me that you understand what that means, what the number two means, and you're showing me that you understand the number three. And then you're going to write, because we're practicing writing, those numbers on those lines. When you finish that, show that to your mom or your dad or your grandma or whoever's doing your school. Show that to them, okay? Excellent, and now, my friends, You just finished the second lesson in module two. Amazing. You guys are such good thinkers. So, I mean, you're such good thinkers. And I'm so proud of you for doing your math every day because the more times you do your math every day, the better you're gonna get and then you're gonna just be shine even brighter and brighter math stars. It's amazing. I will see you tomorrow.